Hi, and welcome to episode 52 of Two Crafty Stitches. Today is December 17th, 2017. I'm Sandy, also known as Knits and Bits. And I'm Kelly, also known as Pearly Girl 75. And I realized I didn't have my knitting in my hand at all. Well, that's oh. okay. I mean, uh, you know, points me. off. There you go. Points off. I get fidgety. So I was just like trying to fidget. <laughs> um, so today we have our exciting... Hold on. Drawing for our contest. Yes. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and the prizes, which we're going to show you also. Yes. So we are going to start with that once I untangle oh everything. My goodness. I know. <laughs> Not even like a dog or a cat's been in this I know. recently. <laughs> okay. So you guys can't see it here, but I have my awesome computer mm -hmm. that has everything on here. So it is a random name picker. Yes, we have her, typed in all of the names. From both her posts as well as my posts. Mm -hmm. And we will be drawing two names. And the first one is going to be going for your prize. Yes. Should so, I show the prize first or should we draw the name first? Whichever you want to do. Um, let's make it a little more suspenseful and show the prize first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you get this lovely bag right here. And inside the bag, dun dun dun. If I could figure out how to open it, <laughs> <laughs> you will be getting from my personal stash some nest fiber in the Equinox colorway. It was from one of the fiber clubs. It's Targi Bamboo Silk. And you also will be getting another cute little bag, because you know, bags in bags is amazing. They are. And inside this bag, all wrapped in bubble wrap, you will be getting your very own little wooden Turkish spindle from Snyder Spindles. I'll put it together to show you. So that way it is an all-inclusive present. Yes. So you can spin your fiber on your spindle and store it all in your bag. Oh. What? <laughs> That's just crazy talk now. I know. All right. Okay, so I'll wait until you put that away. No, because now I'm going to have to fold it all back up. <laughs> well, I wanted to show everyone, like, exactly what it is, you know. Yes. Okay. Okay, so now, sorry there's not a way that you guys can see, but this will also be put on our Instagrams. Yes, because we're going to have to have you contact us with your address so we can mail stuff to you. <laughs> And the winner is Obsidian78. Yay! So yay! We need to probably, we should write this down, shouldn't we? I'm going to take a picture. Okay. So that way we can <laughs> put that up there. Yes. Oh, and Lucy is even, she's so excited about the contest uh, that she has come to visit us. I can't take a picture with the dog. Dog, get up here. Come there on. you go. There we go. <laughs> okay. She's like, did I win? No, Lucy, no, you, you did, did not win <laughs> because you do not have an Instagram. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. And I'm over so here. I am going to show this present now. Yes. It is in this follow your heart tote bag. Mm -hmm. So you can carry your project. See? Or whatever your heart desires. <laughs> and... There's this cute little traveling weaving loom, mm -hmm. and it comes with its own bag to carry the little <laughs> loom in. So you can put that bag inside this bag. I know. You have a bag bags and bag and bags. <laughs> and then from the psychedelic sheep, which if you remember last time, there is a skein of yarn. And because here in Florida we had that wonderful hurricane, um, we picked this out because it is tropical hurricane. Ah. So, and I just love the colors of the green and the white. So, that is in this package. Yes. And let's see who gets this one. Yes. Oh, and that is Summery Day. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, we will be putting this on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, th th thank you for looking me. Yeah. Lucy. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we'll be putting this on Instagram and tagging everybody. So yes, well, everybody that won, well, you too. I mean, everyone can contact us. I know. You know. We need to. We need your guys's 
information so we can send you your prizes. Well, that is some good stuff. Yes. Okay. All right. Now on to ugh, new items. I have none. And for the first time, probably I know, in history, I know of our podcast. I have no new no new no new items. So I don't really have much. Mm -hmm. But actually, right before here, I decided to go on a little shopping spree, trying to find a little tiny mini tree topper. Because <laughs> I have a large tree that I don't put up because of all the animals. Yeah. And I think the one is going to end up eating it if I put it up. <laughs> so I bought another um, tiny Norfolk pine. And I even got lights this year, the battery operated LEDs. Oh, okay. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> but it doesn't have a tree topper. So I was at Michael's because I couldn't find anywhere else that had any. Mm -hmm. And I got this little tiny tree topper. Yes. Very Isn't cute. It's cute. I think that our tree topper is very similar to that, but it's like teal or not, not teal, but it's like a light blue. They only Literally. had that. But mine is like big. Yeah. Because it's for our big tree. They had that gold but I and red. I don't remember because I think we've only put it on there once. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember because it's been like three years since we put up the tree. Two. Two. It's been two. Okay, two years. Because in my memories on Facebook, our Christmas card from two years ago, <laughs> our picture came up and I was like, oh, that's when we put our tree up. Two years ago. So <laughs> the other thing is, while I was there, um, they were having like a massive sale, like Everything Christmas like this was 60% off. Mm -hmm. um, and then I went and just wandered around the yarn area because I wasn't sure if I wanted that or if I would just make one yeah. to put up there that wasn't very dark blue. <laughs> <laughs> um, they didn't have any of that. But I found this yarn. It's um, from Loops and Threads, Barcelona, um, in the colorway Dusk. And it's, I think, all acrylic. I don't know. It's a bulky yarn. I'm going to make a little blanket for one of my soldiers that I adopt. Mm -hmm. um, so I have not started on that at all. Because <laughs> I just got it. Well, yeah, because you just bought the yarn. But I was like this tempted to just cast it on right before we started. No, you have to finish your other I thing. know. <laughs> so I guess that goes into our works in progress. Yes. Which I'm only showing the one that I've been actively working on. <laughs> which is my brickless shawl, which I'm in the middle of a row. And that's Martina and, Bem. Yes. And uh -huh. some Christmas colorway yarn that I don't know what it is. Did I get it from you? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I got it, it might be, I think it might be Yarn Pirate. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. It might be. I'll have to look at my stash. Yeah. I really don't know. It was already wound up in mm -hmm. a cake when I uh, pulled it out of my stash. So I am so close to being done. And my goal is to be done so I can wear it this week yeah. or at least minimum by Christmas Eve. And I have this much left. So it's a nice red, greens, yellows, and browns. Yeah. White. Not and yellow, white. But okay. <laughs> yeah, not yellow, white. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a really long month <laughs> so far. It's just random colors. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I keep you around. I know. To make sure I know my colors. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so that's it for you for works in progress. Yes. I only have yeah. one as well that I'm working on, and that is, and I've been working on it for a while. <laughs> And I'm hoping to finish it one time, one, one day soon. Um, and that is just a brioche. I've decided it's just going to be a scarf, not like an infinity scarf. So it's just going to be a regular, like it's a brioche, just a scarf. And it is out of the um, Lion Brand Mandala in the, I think it's the wizard colorway. Yes. Yes. It's the wizard. wizard. And this is how much I have left. Yay! So, I like yesterday I was working on it last night and I was like, I have to get through the yellow and I almost made it through the yellow. But then I went to bed. So then I only have two colors after that and it will be done. But it's just going to be a scarf because it's nice and long. and Yeah. Yeah. That the, way I will um, all of it. The cardigan that I'm making out of that, I kind of put aside for this. Mm -hmm. um, and I was on a cat watch. Cause, oh, so I guess we'll, we'll 
or first finish this. Oh, I, I do have a this. finished object. Yeah, that I'm wearing no in my hair. Object. And look, I'm going to be all awkward and look at myself on the computer so that you can see. You can this. see it. it so, see, you wouldn't even know you were looking at yourself here. Too bad. Doing that. Well, that's still weird, though, because I was obviously looking and, yeah, and going, where is my finger? Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we had at work... Um, because it's a new, it's not a new school, but it's a new school for our program. Yeah. And they do, um, the week before, next week is exams. And then last week was like dead week. So it was like studying and all that. But they also do like winter holiday dress up spirit week thing. Which I didn't really have a title. Fun. It was, it was, it was fun. It was kind of, you know, like the first day was like pajamas, which I did not do. It's like one of my coworkers said, you know, we don't need the kids picturing us in our pajamas, even if you wear like tasteful pajamas. You know, like big yeah. flannel. Because we're going to high school. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Tuesday was, you know, dressed like a, char- a Christmas character. Like they gave examples like Rudolph or whatever. And the majority of my coworkers got the idea that they were going to um, put their hair in buns and do the little reindeer buns. Have you seen that before? I have. Yes. And then they were like, but. I'm the only one who would not be able to do it. And, oh, I tried. I valiantly tried. Like, I'll have to show you pictures later because I was, like, in my bathroom trying to put my hair in a bun. And I did all sorts of different things and sent them to my coworkers going, it's not working. So, um, so like, at 9 o'clock that night, I was, like, or 8.30 or whatever at night. It was almost 9. And I was, like, oh, well, maybe I can crochet or do some little hair accessory that has a reindeer. And I found this pattern, and I made this. And they, like... My coworker brought Google Eyes in, and we have a hot glue gun at work. And um, so I went ahead and finished it up there while everyone was also was like fixing their hair. You mean they didn't like do that at home and just drive in with reindeer? No, because one of the because it was a bunch of coworkers, and yeah. one of them went out to Michael's and bought all the supplies. Oh, okay. she bought all the she bought the Google Eyes, and she brought so she brought in, and she had already at home attached the Google eyes to Bobby pins and attached the pom poms and all this, but she bought, she said, I'll buy all the stuff and bring it in. So everyone just had to put their hair and not everyone participated. Cause some people were like, I can't get my hair in a bun, even though they had long hair, but whatever. So I wore this. And then I think, um, they were like, it's not going to stay. So anyway, um, Wednesday, um, what was Wednesday? Wednesday was, there was something for Wednesday. Oh no. That wasn't it. Oh, Wednesday was wear like um, Christmas socks and hats or like holiday socks and did hats. Did you wear any holiday socks? I did wear holiday socks. I wore holiday Tyrannosaurus Rex socks. Like, what are you talking about? I was about to say. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just saw those because I've been wearing, besides today, but every day that I'm in the office, mm-hmm. been wearing Christmas socks for the month of December. Yeah. Which I was out all last week. <laughs> so... <laughs> Well, we had, we had T-Rex socks for Christmas last year. I know. Yeah. Because that's on my, to wear this year. Yeah. I I wore, I wore my socks. And then, um, and then on Thursday it was throw on a flannel Thursday. So it was just like wear a flannel shirt. So I did. And then, um, Friday was ugly sweater day and I did not have an ugly sweater, but I had, and I had to do like an assembly so I couldn't like go crazy anyway. So I wore like. I have a shirt and it is like kind of a Christmas t-shirt, but I picked it up on um, Black Friday at Kohl's and it was gray and like kind of three quarter sleeves, kind of like this. And mm-hmm. it has like these little reindeer on it made out of black lace. <laughs> oh, that's cute. So it was okay. And then I had a little black sweater that I could like button over it to do the other stuff. So, and I wore Christmas socks that day too. Well, yeah. So. Tis the season. Yep. So that's my finished object. That's that's the long way to say that I have a finished object. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of this done this week. Well, the beginning of this week, because my cat got out. And that's why we didn't record last week. Yeah. Because he is 15 years old. And we had a cold yeah. snap last week, too. Yeah, it was yeah. cold. It was, like, down in the, like, high 30s. Yeah. Like, 38, 37. And maybe. the highs were like fifties, yeah, maybe sixty. I think was the warmest it got, which was, I thought, was wonderful. It but was it's not good for a cat that's outside, no. especially an older cat. So. And especially an older cat who is really, really skinny. Mm-hmm. And I feed them; they, they get all the food they want. <laughs> and my cats, I don't know why they don't get fat. <laughs> 
They, they they're eat running they're... from the dogs. They get lots of exercise. Even when I didn't have a dog, <laughs> you know, before I met Josh, yeah, he he would just eat when he's hungry. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, um, he got out sometime on Saturday, and we put we have a cat trap because. This happens often, <laughs> I guess. I mean, th- there's a few times when we put it out thinking the cat's I'm got out. Going to knit a little while you're talking. You should. I will. And the cat hasn't got out. <laughs> so, I mean, I think I've only really had to use it three times because that's the official amount of cat escapes mm-hmm. in 12 years, which I don't think it's is that bad. bad. No. Well, no it's, it's, and it's better to be prepared. Yeah. And we've used it for, like, other things, um, catching neighbor cats and all that. Yeah. Um, so I kept on catching, the first night, one of the neighbor cats. Because I sat out for pretty much the entire night. And I finally went to sleep around 4 and got up at 5. So we was walking the neighborhood. And mm-hmm. I, I couldn't find him. And so then... Um, the next day I had a work function to go to that lasted all day until about seven o'clock at night. And I got home and, uh, made Josh go on cat watch. So I'm like, I need to get some sleep. But every like three hours I was getting up, walking the neighborhood, couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. So then, um, I guess that was Sunday night. So Monday night, like, okay, I'm going to stay up all night sit in the car because it's still cold this is the third night right where it's cold um we have a litter box outside a cat trap with a whole bunch of food in there and i kept on catching like the same two well the same cat kept on actually hitting the plate the other cat that's also a neighborhood cat that they let out would go in and not hit the pressure plate so he wouldn't get caught (laughs) and it was driving me crazy so I stayed up all night and I had to be at work, get ready for work by 620. And so I'm like 620, that, that's my cutoff. 610, my cat came up and I was able to like capture him, got him inside, quarantined him for most of the week. He wasn't hurt. He's not showing any signs of sickness, but, um, I think he lost a little bit more weight, mm-hmm. so I went to the store and got some um, high-calorie yeah. gel to hopefully get some fat on him, Yeah, because <laughs> it's not good. And he's eating and drinking fine, and mm-hmm. so that's, I don't know, hmm. but it is what it is. Uh, now yeah. the neighborhood cats are sad that I'm not out at all nights playing with them. I know, and running in and getting food and I know setting off cat traps and walking around <laughs> with the big container of treats shaking it uh-huh. yelling different cat names uh-huh. and meowing <laughs> <laughs> with my flashlight I'm like there's a cat I need to sneak up to it and get really close <laughs> hold on it's kind of great oh it's you again <laughs> stop following me <laughs> they would just follow me and then I would like head butts my leg I'm like fine here's some treats I was go find cats, my like, cat just Give me some treats. I'll be your cat. Give me some treats. He's he's a really saying. sweet cat. I, I mean, I like him. We've brought... Yeah. Um, because of this, we left... Uh, uh, we have... It used to be a carport that has been made into a room. So there's a door into that and then another Sorry door. Sorry hearing my dryer go off. <laughs> yeah, then the <laughs> door into the house. So we just closed off the second door and left the main door to like the garage area open so in case charlie did get cold he'd walk in Mm -hmm. and so a few of the neighbor cats was walking in and getting (laughs) warm at night yeah yeah josh even slept out there one night (laughs) in the sleeping bag (laughs) with a little portable heater yeah the night that i uh i tapped out and just needed to get some rest yeah so that was my cat watch story yes but at least he is home safe he is yes He's been getting lots of snuggles Mm -hmm. and cans of cat food. (laughs) So, yeah. Well, I, well, I, we went, um, because now we're in the portion where we're just going to talk about other stuff. Um, (laughs) I went yesterday to the Strauss Center with my season tickets and saw Love Never Dies, the sequel to Phantom of the Opera. 
and um, we actually stayed for the whole show. <laughs> there was debate at intermission when I was like, should we go? Should we stay? I don't know. I'm not really enjoying it. I don't really like this. And then like one of the ushers was like, blah, blah, blah. And someone asked like, how, how long is act two? And they said 57 minutes. And I was like, you know what? I've already invested an hour and a half and I already paid for the tickets. I might yeah. as well stick around to see how it ends. Which I mean, now I know how it ends. And there was a little bit like, whoa, that actually happened, which I'm not going to spoil for you guys. But you know, um, yeah, stick around for the end. Like as painful as it may be um, <laughs> to get through it all. <laughs> um, so we did that. We ate at Eddie and Sam's pizza too beforehand. I got a pizza pizza, which was delicious. And, um, <laughs> the dog never does this. This oh. is like what my dogs do. She does she, this to me all the she time. She doesn't do it to me. Oh. She's normally like all hyper and crazy. Say, she does that to me all the time. Um, lay your head back down. It was cute. She's like, oh, you've got your two seconds of cuteness. Okay. Um, yeah, Eddie and Sam's, which is delicious. Yes. So I got pizza yesterday too beforehand, um, and then went to Trader Joe's afterwards, and <laughs> which which is becoming a bad habit after shows at the Straz because like I don't usually drive down to Trader Joe's, but it's yeah. like on the way back because like the show I went to two weekends ago, we stopped by Trader Joe's on the way back too, and I have two shows coming up in January that are two weekends back to back, and I'm like, uh -oh. oh no, like. <laughs> I mean, by then it will be time to make another run, but still, I don't know if I can do it two weekends in a row. I don't know if my wallet can do it two weekends in a row. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so we did that. But prior to that, so um, I like Jason Mraz. <laughs> yes, you do. I do. And I have for years and I've seen him in concert twice. He's come to our area three times. But I, and I've seen him at two of those because one of the times he was at the Straz and it was with some other artist and I don't, didn't go. Um, I think it was with like Alanis Morissette or something. I was like, no. <laughs> so I, yeah, I don't, I'm not fond of Alanis so Morissette. So he's <clears throat> currently on Broadway in the musical Waitress and he will be through, I think the end of January and then he's going on tour. So it popped up on Facebook. Hey, he's going on tour. And I was like, I wonder if he's coming anywhere near me. And I was like, oh, he's going to Orlando. And I was like, mm, nah, everyone goes to Orlando because they have this brand new, beautiful, like performing arts center out there yeah. and all this. Um, and then I saw that he was coming to St. Pete to the Mahaffey Theater. And I was like, yes, it's like not that far and I can get tickets and go and it's in March and, you know, we can buy Because when we've gone before and seen him, it's been like the week or two, one or two weeks before the concert. I'm like, oh, let's go. Yeah. Like the first one we went to was before he had gotten really even big. And I think there were 1500 people at, in the, at the concert. Cause it was like a small venue. Yeah. And, um, and it was like standing room, you know, like there were no seats and whatever. And so I was in like the second or third row. Um, I might have pushed my way towards <laughs> the front, but you know, that's what um, gotta do. I know. And then the next time we saw him at Ruth Eckerd hall, which, you know, is a big performing arts center. And we saw him there and we got tickets, but we kind of did that last minute too. So this time I'm like, Oh, we have plenty of time. And for those of you who might be new to our um, podcast, I am, you know, in my real world job, I'm a sign language interpreter and my husband is deaf. So I was like, it'd be really cool if we could go and actually like, since there's a couple months, request a sign language interpreter. Yeah. Um, Cause you want to make sure, you know, being one myself that you give them time to prepare and like they, when they do like a concert, they'll, you know, you learn like the artist catalog of music and you figure out how would I sign this song and all this, you know, um, cause you, when you get there, you find out what the set list is, but you at least like have worked on it for a while on, you know, their popular songs and all that type of stuff. So I was like, okay, so I'm giving them plenty of time. So I knew tickets were going on sale to the general public on Friday. So on Tuesday after work, I called the Mahaffey theater and I spoke to the rudest person on earth whoever it was. I don't know if they were having a bad day. I don't know. But I said, you know, I, I want to buy tickets to this concert. And they're like, oh, they're on pre-sale already. And I'm like, okay, well, uh, I would need a sign language interpreter for my husband. And they told me they would not provide one. And we went into the ADA and they told me they don't have to do it. It's not their responsibility. It was a whole big thing. Oof. Yeah. So, um, so if you follow me on social media, <laughs> if you follow me personally on Twitter, uh, you would have seen that I, I, I got off the phone with them. Uh, they gave me a, he, he did give me a number to someone else to contact, which yeah. I called and left a message and they never called me back. Even to this day, never called me back. And I've called them oh, twice. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Um, but they, um, so I went and I emailed like a local agency that does work with, you know, 
people who won't provide interpreters and making them do it. And they gave me someone else, you know, someone's name to call um, if I needed to. And, um, oh, and the person I spoke to, the Mahaffey, told me, you'll like this one, told me that it is the artist's responsibility to provide an interpreter and that I needed to call Jason Mraz and ask him for an interpreter. Did now, you say, okay, give me his number? I know. I was like, do you have his phone number? Like, <laughs> uh, do you think I am like friends with him? Because if I were friends with him, I wouldn't even be calling you for tickets. He would just have tickets for me. Like, yeah. I mean, okay. And they said, well, if you can't get a hold of him, then, <laughs> then call, you know, contact his like talent agency or his booking or publicists or whatever. So I went on to Twitter and I tweeted out, you know, at Mraz team, which is his public publicity team and let them know what was going on. And I tweeted at Jason Mraz or whatever, you know, like his official Twitter and yeah. let him know what was going on. And, and I went on to the event page and made a, under the discussion and said, you know, uh, my husband and I would love to go, but unfortunately the venue is not providing us an interpreter or whatever. And of course, every, someone else responded with a comment. Well, why don't you contact Jason Mraz? Who are all these people who can just like pick up their phone and be like, Hey there, Jason, buddy, old pal, do this, <laughs> do me a favor. Like I, who are all these people who like have his phone number? Like what's going on and why Seriously. are they not my friends and giving me his phone number? So, <laughs> so did you respond back with, can you give me his phone? Well, number? no, I did respond back. I said, you know, I've done this other stuff because I went on his website and I contacted his talent agency. <laughs> and sent them an email. It said like booking talent agency, whatever. And, and then you're like, an email. Can you give me his phone number. I so really I, can I was like, so they told me I need to contact you all and the artist directly. Um, so, and that was like Tuesday. So Wednesday when I was at work, I looked at my phone and I had the email that was from Jason Mraz's talent agent. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Who emailed me back and said that the theater would be providing an interpreter not to worry and to call and confirm today, you know, and if they say anything different to refer them like to this email and to him and blow it all other, uh, other info and all this. And I was like, okay. So I went home and I, you know, after work and I contacted the theater and said, so, um, I'm calling because I'm trying to obtain tickets and, uh, you know, a sign language interpreter. And they were like, oh, it was a different person on the phone. She was like, hold on wait, you're, you, you need the interpreter. Hold on. Wait, let me get my manager and all this. And like puts me on hold and you can hear her talking to the manager in the back. They're like, Oh yeah, we're totally providing an interpreter. Don't worry about it. Blah, 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 blah. So she goes oh back. My gosh. Yes, there will be an interpreter. And I'm like, so that's really awesome. And I really appreciate that. So, um, where are we going to sit? So we can see the interpreter. <laughs> and she's like, well, you can just go online and pre-order a ticket and do the pre-sale. And I'm like, well, I don't have the credit card number. Like you have to have a special type of credit card to do the pre-sale. And I was like, I don't have yeah. that. And I was like, and if I just go on and try and get seeds, how do I know that that's where the interpreter is going to be? Oh, hold on. She gets the manager again. There's this whole like little discussion happening off, you know, off the phone, whatever. And so then they come back and they're like, well, we, and, and the manager was saying something like, well, we do children's shows with interpreters sometimes uh -huh. in this theater and the interpreter usually stands in between rows two and four because there's like row three in the center in the orchestra has seats but on the side sections there are no seats there um it's just like empty right there yeah maybe that's like the handicap seating or something i'm not sure but anyway um so they're like so the interpreter will be standing um in in between two and four let's find you some tickets and that will determine which side the interpreter is on so i'm like okay so we go through this thing and they're like, well, we can put you in, um, row six. And I'm like, well, that's still like, what if there's like someone tall or whatever, someone yeah. stands up the whole, I'm like, what if someone stands up the whole show, you know, and we can't, and my husband can't see the interpreter and they're like, okay, hold on a second. Cause I guess like when you, well, when you go online, you order tickets to something, they, you know, you have like a certain number of minutes to make a purchase. Yeah. And so there were tickets because they had told me if I had just gone online, I would have gotten seats in like row 13 or like way in the back because they were like tickets were selling a lot faster than they thought they were going to be. And I'm like, well, yeah, they are, you know, <laughs> all the people that I guess call Jason Mraz on the phone are buying tickets to see him. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so, so anyway, she's, they're like, there's two seats in row four, which is right in front of them, but someone has them in their cart right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, so we have to wait. And they're like, we're down to like the 40 last 45 seconds. And I'm like, I don't believe this. So then like 45 seconds passed. They're like, oh, those tickets were released. So the manager's like, here's the code. Put this code in to block those tickets so no one else can get them. And the lady's like, okay. <laughs> and, and so I don't know like what his agent like did. Oh my or, gosh. Like, put the fear of God into them or something. 
but um, it all worked and we ended up getting our tickets because then she's like, well, we can just do tickets right now over the phone and all this. I was like, well, yes. And she said, well, do you want us to mail them? Do you want to pick them up or do you want us to email them and you can print them? I was like, please email them. And I was like, and I'm staying on the phone with you like until I get the email, like in my email. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So anyway, so I printed them off. And then um, my husband, who I had said the day before, I told him about it and I was like, I was like, yeah, and they don't want to provide an interpreter. And he was like, well, it's okay. Cause you know, I've seen him before without an interpreter and I've enjoyed, you know, he dances around the stage and moves around a lot and there's usually lights. And then you see like, and I can feel all the vibrations. And I was like, no, you need to be mad about this and be like, no, I demand an interpreter. And he was like, no, it'll be all right. Well, I, you know, uh, yeah, cause it's John. I'm glad that and, you were mad about it for him. Yeah. So we, um, so then, um, when he got home from work on Wednesday, I told him, I was like, so I got his tickets to Jason Moran. He's like, oh, okay, cool. Um, and he's like, he, he, and I said, and we got a sign language interpreter too. And his whole face lit up. He's like so excited about going to this concert. Oh, now. he's like, good. now I'm going to know what he's saying. <laughs> I'm like, well, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. So he's excited about going now. Well, that's really, so, yeah, happy. that's exciting. So, I hadn't heard the story. Yet. Yeah. Cause it just happened yeah. and it was too much to text. Yeah. <laughs> well I'm glad so, about yeah. that so that'll be in March and of course like right when they announced the March I was like wait do I have any stress center tickets in my season because I knew there was an art show or two in March but they're yeah. like so there's like show the Straz, Jason show the Straz, then the next week's Jason Mraz and then show the Straz. see it all rhymes perfect but yeah so yep I'm glad that worked out it did sometimes you have to fight for things you do Yep. And with all that, I probably would have tried to fight to get some backstage Well, yeah, I tickets. know. But, but that's I was kind me. of hoping, like, and like in the back of my head, I was like, well, maybe when I contact, like, the talent, talent agency, maybe they'll be like, oh, yeah, well, we'll just give you tickets. But <laughs> 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 we feel so bad for all this that we put you through. Here, here are tickets that you don't have to pay for, because I paid a bit more for tickets than I thought I was going to be paying. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm wondering if you could have pushed back on that. I don't know. I so. I was kind of like, eh, should I push my luck even further? Because yeah. I mean, they could have said, oh, well, you can sit up in the mezzanine and we'll just have the interpreter stand in front of you in the mezzanine. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> but anyway. So this week, this isn't as exciting. <laughs> but well, I guess this weekend. So the last two days. Mm -hmm. um, I have been... <laughs> I, I don't know why. I think it's maybe just to, like, because Josh doesn't like it. Okay. I've been watching, like, nonstop Christmas movies. Oh, my gosh. You need to go on Netflix, I guess, and watch that Christmas Prince movie. I've already seen okay. it. Because I was gonna say, cause that's, like, what everyone's watching right now. Did you see the, um, it was the online thing where Netflix says. On Twitter, yeah. Yeah. And it was, like, who's watching the Christmas Prince 18 days in a row? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And, so, um, like, yeah. time got in on that, and they're like, who needs a Christmas prince when we've got, you know, murderers and <laughs> all this other stuff in, like, whatever their movies are about? <laughs> so, yeah, I've been, um, I've been watching the Netflix, mm -hmm. and then, um, the Hallmark Channel and Lifetime, oh. all Christmas related. Yeah. So, <laughs> and I also watched a psych movie. Oh, yeah, I watched that, too. Oh, my gosh. I really liked it. I want to say it was very reminiscent of the original thing and it was a lot better than when they did the musical. So we I'm talking... not going to lie. I don't remember the musical. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So because if you know me, I don't keep up with like current events with celebrities and all that mm -hmm. at all. Um, so a coworker Mark mm -hmm. informed me that, um, they had to rewrite the entire thing like a week beforehand. Did you know that? No. Because well, then how could they do that? Because they felt they showed um, they showed like half the movie or whatever during Comic Con in July. Well, because uh, the guy that plays Slassy had a stroke. Well, yeah, but they wouldn't have had to rewrite the they whole had, thing. Well, I don't know. It was a good maybe portion just like of his it. part or something. Yeah, but yeah. it was a good portion of it to <laughs> make it so he. But he had that stroke a while ago. It wasn't like he just had a stroke a week ago or whatever. I don't know. It was like he had the stroke a while ago. Maybe it was a week before casting. Or not know. casting, but before, filming. Probably, yeah. Not like so. Yeah, not like last week they. No, had to no, do no, it. no. It was like, like 
a week before or two weeks before they started filming it. Oh, okay. So they had to, like, do a massive rewrite, right? Yeah. I'm not going to lie, the entire time, I was trying, I was more focused on where the pineapple was. <laughs> and then at the end, it was like, I'm like, oh, yeah. So obvious. But I enjoyed That's it, though. I oh, did. yeah, I liked it. Um, oh, you know what we watched last night? What? You're going to be so proud of me. And we went through it. We were looking at our DVR and stuff. We watched Game watch. of Thrones. No. We, oh. Well, I'm caught up on Game I don't of know. Thrones. I watched that. Like, we watched that live this, you know, like. What? Yeah. Okay. This past season. Um, no. Um, I watched the Doctor Who 2015 Christmas special. <laughs> Is there going to be a Yes, on new... Christmas night. There's a new one. Okay. But I still have now the 2016 Christmas special and 12 episodes to get through. Yeah, so you need to hurry up this week. Well, we might. Well, I was going to say we were going to watch some, an episode or two tonight, except that um, on Fox they're having a Christmas Story, the musical live event tonight, which I'm planning on watching at 7. Okay. So. You have two hours. I know. But, um, Yeah. So that, cause that's coming on tonight and I want to see that. But yeah, so we sat, cause I was like, I know we have some Christmas things, blah, blah, blah. And I pull it up. I'm like, oh, this is from 2015. <laughs> it was the Husbands of River Song. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we have last, the, yeah, the 2016 one. And then we have all of last season to get through. Yes. So, so, um, <laughs> I guess one thing that I pulled out that I'm going to start working on once I finish this, mm -hmm. is another crocheted project that I started like four or five years ago at least. Um, maybe even longer. It is all in the Christmas sparkly yarn. Okay. Um, red, green, and white. white. Not yellow. <laughs> white. <laughs> I think it's the brown in that that for you. I, I think that's what so. It is. We'll we'll go with that. Yeah. And the fact that I'm in the yellow portion of my thing. You know that might have been it. Since you talked about it before, I talked about my project and the yellow. Oh go ahead. yeah, never mind. <laughs> I'm just trying something here. Uh -huh. now. <laughs> and um, I'm doing like granny squares, but like the middle is like a little flower, and then granny. Oh okay. Hexagonish type thing around it, and then putting that together. And it was gonna be a tree skirt until. That was what it was supposed to be originally. And then as I was putting it together, I'm like, huh, there's not a slit in there. So it can't be a tree skirt. No. <laughs> Unless it's for my little tiny tree, which yeah. I think I'm going to do one more ring. Because it's it'll be about that big and then I can put it on there. Mm -hmm. So that's my plan. Yes. And if I don't get through it this Christmas, then I'll start on it the week before Christmas next year. <laughs> Because that's yep. how I roll. Well, that's okay, because I just did my Christmas cards today. And they're going in the mail tomorrow. I have not. I need and to And I just that. bought Christmas cards. I didn't do photo. I did not do Christmas cards with pictures like I have the past couple years. Yeah. Because last year, my Christmas card, if you look at my Instagram from last year, it's on there. And it's pictures of me and John with the Velociraptor at yes. Universal Studios. And I just don't know if I can top that this year. So everyone's just getting, like, Christmas cards I bought at Michael's. <laughs> yeah I have some I don't I have like three boxes at least mm -hmm. and it's because I buy them and I never send them out right well I was gonna say I picked up a box and then today when I was at Publix because we went to Sam's Club and then Publix this morning and I was in line and the lady and I was thinking this week I was like well, all last week I was like I need to get stamps I need to get stamps so that I can mail my Christmas cards and blah 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 get stamps. and I haven't done it yet and so I was at Publix and the lady in front of me, because I completely forgot that you can buy stamps at the grocery store. Yeah. Um, because they had Christmas stamps at Sam's Club, but I did not need 100 stamps to send out 12 carts or whatever it was, you know. Um, so how much were the 100 stamps? Like 50 bucks or $49 huh. or something for 100 I would probably Christmas end up stamps. losing them. So. Yeah. So, um, so I was just, so I was at Publix and the lady in front of me asked for stamps and the woman said, all we have are the holiday ones. And she was like, no, thank you. So I was like, I need a book of stamps. And I bought them at Publix and came home and did my Christmas cards after lunch. Well, thanks for reminding me. I did yeah. get my dad a birthday present, oh. which I am surprised it, it got to him the day after his birthday. Oh, but you know, bad. that that's for me, that's awesome. Yeah. Really awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, it, I went on Amazon uh -huh. and, um, my sister and I got a, a tower of like snacks. 
Like oh, those okay. little boxes. Yeah. With all of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't I don't think he actually put them into a tower, knowing him. But he did call, and we did a conference call, and he went through each box. And the first one, he's like, ooh, it's those, like, um, candies in the tinfoil that's soft in the middle. Like the truffles? Is it like the Lindor truffles? He's like, oh, I don't know, but I really love them. <laughs> I used to get them all the time, but Diana's not here to buy them for me. I'm like, okay, so that means I need to buy them for you yes. more often. <laughs> Good to know. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have no idea how I am like once... Oh, wait, that's how. <clears throat> I've been like one stitch off this entire like thing. Yes. Well, so, yeah. I think though, for me, that about wraps it up for yeah. me today. Um, me too. Yeah. So we, I, I have to get, not that we're doing a huge Christmas thing this year, you know, but you know, it's our last week of school with exams and all that. And all, all of my holiday work functions are this week. Um, Tuesday, we're at the school cafeteria and they're bringing us four rivers food, rumor has it. And then Wednesday, they are between two restaurants for our ESC department lunch. So, hmm. and then Wednesday evening is our knitting night that we go to once a month. Yes. And it is not at its usual location. It's going to be at the Village Inn. And it's free pie night. Wednesday is like, if you buy food, you get free pie. And Wednesday like is a weigh-in day for me. So I will have new points that day. <laughs> Ooh, what kind of pie am I going to get? I don't know, but if you order food or you place an order, you get a free slice of pie on Wednesday. So the only problem I, I foresee with Village Inn is like when we go to Barnes & Noble and we knit, Barnes & Noble closes at like 10 and we usually stay till just about 10 and the Village Inn stays open a lot later. Yeah. So we're really, I'm, I'm really going to have to watch the time because I have to like yeah, sit in exams go to work. the next day. Yeah. And do things. Yeah. But anyway, um, so again, congrats to our prize winners. Yeah. You know, please contact us. We'll post it. What did you say on Instagram? Can yeah. On it? both of our Instagrams. Yeah. So contact, so contact either one. Yes. Yeah, so that we can get this out in the mail to you. And um, you can find us on social media on Instagram, which mine is pearlygirl75. And mine is <laughs> knits and bits. And we also are on YouTube with our videos, Two Crafty Stitches, The Crafties with a K. And the um, we also post it to our um, Twitter, Twitter, <laughs> which is Twitter. also Two Crafty Stitches. <laughs> I got you here. I got you. <laughs> I feel like it's been a long time since I've done this, but it really is. It's, it's been only like been a couple weeks. weeks. I know. So it's because of cat watch. Yes. 2017. Yes. So anyway, um, we hope to see you again in the new year. We'll probably be our next recording, right? Maybe. Yeah. Now, now I have to consult a calendar. I think it's in the new year or it's the weekend of new years. I don't even know. Yeah. It'd be like the 31st. Oh, new year's Eve. 31st. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. New year's Eve weekend. Maybe that'll be our next recording. So anyway, um, that's it for me. So happy crafting. <laughs> Bye.